What's up guys, welcome back to the Water's Edge. We're out on the boat today, fishing Chincoteague, Virginia. Today is day two of a flounder tournament. Currently we are sitting in second place. So right now I think our bag is 7.96. The leading bag is 11.37. So we're looking to improve on our fish from yesterday, but not bad after day one, given the conditions. Um, it was tough, it was windy and water was muddy. Just not great flounder conditions, but we got some rain overnight. It's kind of misty and foggy right now. The wind laid down, which is nice, but we're waiting on that outgoing tide to spin around. So we're just kind of drifting some channel edges. We'll see what the day brings. We're hoping to get like a couple two or three pound fish. That would put us in a really nice spot. We're gonna kind of show you guys some techniques and tricks that we're using today and uh, hopefully board some fish. Catching six fish yesterday, uh, four keepers in the conditions, I think, I think today we'll be able to boat some more. So hopefully hopefully we can do that. But we got about a couple hours before the tide switch really gets going uh, on that outgoing tide when the flounder really like to bite hard. We're uh, getting rods rigged up, kind of slow drifting right now and waiting for a bite. So uh, when that happens, I'll make sure to turn the camera on. All right, so we're drifting three and you're gonna be pitching a jig up. Yep. All right. Maybe we'll get lucky and pick one up early. Rods are bouncing. I think it will be luck. So I'm watching these three rods right now, uh, just kind of dragging base. We got gulps, uh, strips of white perch belly, um, some live bull minnows on. Brady's pitching a jig up to the bank here. He caught one like that yesterday, so conditions are a lot better for pitching baits today. So he's gonna see if he can pluck one off the bank up there. Is that Brady? I saw, I saw it. Yeah, he's, he's taking it. Yeah. Yeah, all right, I'm ready. Yeah, nice fish. Yep. Nice, feels, dude. Oh. There we go. That's a keeper. Hey. Okay. Maybe this gradual back up. He hit the he hit the the chartreuse and white uh, gulp. With the belly or no? No belly. He hit the top bait. Hit that's a keeper. I think that's a keeper. We'll find out. I think that's a keeper. I think so. You just yeah, put his face up there. 16 and a half. You might have to close oh. his mouth. Yeah, you have to close his mouth. Dude, it's, he's like... He's the same as mine. right at it, isn't he? It's so, a legal fish. It's not... It's, it's not... a little bigger. Maybe. We'll have to it's measure bigger. him. Still too awful, Yep. All right. First keeper of the day. All right. First Good job, fish. Bill. Good job, Bill. We got room for improvement, but that is a keeper. That is a keeper. Yeah. Tell you what, it's so it was so distinct with this braid. Oh, dude, the braid it's is incredible. It's a jump. A this freaking braid, you can feel everything. We're gonna come up that ledge though over that way. It. We're just starting to come up it right There's now. There's a couple ledges. You can almost see the current line bump out. Yep. I like that. We're coming up. Nice gradual ledge. Something's gonna get slammed. Line. What the heck, dude? This feels big, whatever it is. You sure you're on the line? Brady, Brady, Brady. What? Fish is coming. The fish, fish is right the here. Line. Don't worry about the line. line. I'm trying to get the line away from you. I think so, yeah. I literally just picked it up and he started swimming with it. Yeah. What did he hit? Otter, the otter tail, hit the freaking otter tail. By itself? No, it had a minnow on it. Let's see what he is. Almost 17. Definitely a couple ounces heavier than our smallest. All right, in the box he goes. That was so weird. I just lifted up and I was like, there's something swimming with this. I was getting ready to reel this in and I picked the rod up and then there was like a fish swimming with it. How deep of water were we in? 15. So just tip it with a minnow, otter tail trailer. That's what he hit. I'm way back here. Getting hit. Oh. He had flounder belly on there. Dang. Brady just caught a little sea bass trying to drop down for some spot. So, fortunately, he's a little too small to use for bait, but let's see if we can get some spot. 
All right, fish on, fish on, fish on. Right in that same area. Okay, fish is a fish. I think he's a shorty. We'll take a fish though. So we're not having a bite for a while. Finally got one. Hold him up. Fifteen, fifteen and a quarter. Going back. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tip. We just stripped up some flounder belly from one of the keepers that we caught yesterday. So uh, flounder belly is actually a really, really good bait for flounder. If you strip it up into small, like three to five inch strips, it works phenomenal. So we're getting to, towards the end of this incoming tide where it's gonna start switching. So we're really banking on these fish uh, biting hard once that tide switches. So on that outgoing tide, usually the warm, water's a little warmer. Those fish are more willing to bite. So we're in the zone where we caught them yesterday and just waiting for things to turn on. So hopefully that flounder belly is the key to get a big one today. Dad's on, dad's on, nice. Set the doesn't feel that big. It's all right, fish is a fish. No, it's a keeper for sure. Nice, and the flounder belly. Yeah. That fish is, that fish is pretty nice actually. Better than I thought, Jake. Yeah, push. All right, I'll lay him on the board. Lay him on the board. I'm telling you, man, to lose my fish, man. You tripping? You, I, 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 you, you shouldn't measure them up. You tripping, cuz? I'm not the fish on this one in. You tripping? Did he though? Yes. He's 17 and a half. All right. That's the biggest one of the day, right? Yep. Nice. Oh. You saw it. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Dad, uh, grab the net. Get him, Brady. Oh, son. Little fish. Were you actually getting hit? Yeah, he popped it. I got, a, I got popped. Shoo. I can, I can do that drift again. Two pops right through there. It's like a pop. Yeah. Yeah, something's munching this right now. He's sitting with, should I just go for it? I think he dropped it. Nope. Fish, 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 fish. 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 Okay. Good. He's right here. Dad, we're gonna oh God, oh God. Oh, it's a little shorty. Yeah. yeah. Freaking. Oh, why couldn't you be a big fish? Yeah. Well, there's a throwback. There's the white buoy up on there. There's the... He bit off more than he could chew. That's a mud donkey if I've ever seen one. Oh my God. <laughs> well, we're getting ready to head in. It was a grind today. We got rained on. The wind wasn't too bad, but we did not see a lot of fish caught. We caught six fish ourselves. Only three were keepers. The biggest was 17 and a half. So uh, definitely room for improvement. I think the field probably did better than us today. Um, so sitting in second after yesterday, but after today, I think we're probably going to be between fifth and 10th place. So we'll see what's what everybody's done back at the docks, but uh, got to come up with a game plan for tomorrow. But thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys when we get back to the dock. So as you guys saw, we grinded it out on day two. Uh, we had decent conditions with it being cloudy, kind of overcast. It wasn't too windy on us, um, but the fish just weren't biting. Uh, we, we caught a couple fish, got a couple keepers, a couple throwbacks, but we couldn't find that big fish to really jump us ahead in the standings and keep us, you know, in the top three. But once we got back to the dock, uh, we saw how the field did. Most people didn't catch as many fish as us, but a few boats did have a good day. And uh, one guy brought in a five and a six pound fish from the same boat. Uh, we actually saw that guy catch one of his big fish next to us in the morning. Uh, we saw them land a fish and then kind of start hooting and hollering. So we figured they might've caught a big one. Pull him out there, boy. There we go. Woo! Nice job. And, you know, congratulations to him. He landed two nice fish when conditions uh, weren't ideal. So uh, going into day three, we knew we had to catch some big fish if we wanted to be in the money. Unfortunately, it was rainy in the morning. 
then the sun came out and it got really windy. So all we did was land a couple shorties. I'll show you guys the video of that right here. Someone with it or drop it. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. Over 15, 15 and a half. A little short. Ray just caught the second fish of the day. And he's 15 and a half. Damn. <laughs> Can't get that keeper. Uh, where you at? Where you at? Here. A little better. Same rig, dude. Brady seemed to have the hot rod uh, on day three. Um, I caught like one fish. I think dad might have caught one, but Brady was the one that was catching most of the fish. Uh, only one was keeper size. The rest were in that 14 to 15 inch range. But all in all, a great weekend of fishing. We had a lot of fun. I think we're going to end up between eighth and 10th place. So out of, you know, 25 ish boats, that's not too bad given the conditions. Uh, still a really fun weekend, but hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video and please if you haven't watched the day one video go watch that video um, But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for you guys So if you enjoyed the video make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel It's always fun to get out and fish an area that you don't usually get to fish especially Chincoteague I've never fished it uh, Brady's fished it like once or twice and my dad fished it like 20 years ago So it was fun to get out there explore the waters with them But we'll be heading back home and uh, getting ready to fish some of our local waters. So very excited for that. But with that being said, we will see you guys on the next video.